Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that identify which function is exponential and which is linear from the following table. And in this table, the different values of x are given as 10, 15, 20 and 25 and corresponding values of f of x are given as 20, 35, 50 and 65. And for these values of x, corresponding values of g of x are given as 4, 32, 256 and 2048. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, linear function grows by equal differences over equal intervals and exponential function grows by equal factors over equal intervals. Now, to find that a function is linear, we find the difference in the consecutive values of y, that is y2 minus y1, and to find that a function is exponential, we find the ratio of consecutive values of y that is y2 upon y1. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here we are given a table where values of x are 10, 15, 20 and 25. Now see, these values are increasing by equal intervals, that is 5. Now we have to identify between f of x and g of x which function is linear and which function is exponential. Now here you can see the values of f of x are 20, 35, 50 and 65. Now these values are increasing. Now we will see whether these values are increasing by equal differences or not. Now here 35 minus 20 is equal to 15. Then 50 minus 35 is again 15 and 65 minus 50 is also 15. So, we see that the values of f of x are increasing by equal differences that is 15 over equal intervals that is 5. So, There is constant rate of change and from the key idea we know that linear function grows by equal differences over equal intervals thus f of x shows a linear relationship Now again see this table for the values of g of x. Now the values of g of x are given by 4, 32, 256 and 2048. Now here you can see 32 minus 4 is 28, 256 minus 32 is 224 and 2048 minus 256 is 1792. Now these values are also increasing but not by equal differences. So here the relationship is not linear. 
Now we see the ratio of consecutive values of g of x that is y2 upon y1. Now here 32 upon 4 is equal to 8 then 256 upon 32 is 8 and 2048 upon 256 is also 8. So we see that the ratio of consecutive values of g of x is constant thus g of x is an exponential function and this ratio is called vector so f of x is a linear function and g of x is an exponential function and this is the solution of the given question that's all for this session hope you all have enjoyed the session